Emma, are you ready to go camping? Cash Lake. Half cash to Head Lake. First portage of the trip. There's a waterfall in through there, but it's pretty small right now. Um, when we were here last in the fall, there was a lot of rain and the flow is a lot more intense. I don't think we'll go in there. We don't need to see it again, right? Maybe on the way back. Yeah. That portage was really, really busy um, from Cache to Head Lake. It's Friday morning. A lot of people were on their way out. Some people on the way in. We met a nice couple that recognized us from YouTube. Um, but I'd say we, we met like, there were six groups, lots of canoes, four or five different canoes. So it's a busy day. Nice beaver dam. Beautiful view from on top of the beaver dam. This way. mid-July so it's very buggy and we just went through a marsh so it's extra buggy oh it's very steep now head like to harness lake it's a real steep portion here I kind of crawled up that one on my hands and knees on the last stretch there. It's a pretty difficult, steep one. Oh. 
Oh god. So I just fully fell for the first time ever, like full on my knees and hands <laughs> for the first time since doing portages. I've rolled my ankle many times, but this time I actually went down. Um, but I'm fine. Actually, no, I've fallen once before on the last trip, I think. Um, anyway, I didn't land on any jagged rocks, so I'm fine. Buddy. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna found the frog. Where'd he go? Oh. There he is. Leave it. Good girl. Wow, she's even calmer this time around. With you fishing? Yeah. I don't think she really knew what I did. I didn't really sneak it. Oh, okay. Yeah, be sneaky. Good girl. being so good. Mm -hmm. Is this even our dog? I can't believe I can fish. Go check out these waterfalls. So we got to our site, or we went by our site, and there was a group of people at it that didn't look like they were getting ready to leave. <laughs> so we talked to them and they had just arrived. So um, they're gonna move 
either to the other site that's not as good. There's an emergency site on this lake um, for emergencies. If you get windbound or stuck in a storm, there is an extra site, but there is only one bookable site on this lake. Um, so yeah, there shouldn't be anybody else here, but sometimes it happens. It's just uh, better to avoid that because it's not fun to get to a site and have to talk to someone about leaving for either party. Like that wasn't fun for us and that's not fun for them to now move. So yeah, really avoid taking people's sites that you're not supposed to be at. It's really, really sucks. We're at our site eating our lunch snacks. That group that was here did leave and go to the other site on the lake, which is an emergency site. A pretty bushy site over there. This is the nice site. This is the site you're supposed to get when you reserve this lake. It looks like two other canoes have joined the group at the other site. So there are about 12 people over there right now. And we hope that they're not all staying there. But yeah, they said that they were from a camp. They were very nice and they said they got rerouted. I don't know what that means, but really, unless it's an emergency, you shouldn't be at a site that you didn't book. And maybe it was an emergency. I mean, it's 1 p.m. on a calm, nice, warm day. Yeah, it's like, just difficult to know what kind of emergency it might have been. There's no emergency. No, why? And we don't want to say that they're lying. They looked like they were having a grand old time cooking up some food and whatever, enjoying their day. But you never know. Maybe something went wrong and they had to go this way. Either way. <laughs> they could get back to the camp today if they wanted to. Well, we don't know if they're from that camp, but there is a camp on Cache Lake that we passed with a large number of kids there that seems like it would be a camp where these kids could have been from. Anyway, I really hope they're not staying there because they also had a radio when they were over here. Blasting. Blasting the radio. We don't want that. Bug tarp time. Yeah, that's that. That's what? A bowline. A bowline knot? Mm -hmm. So when hanging or setting up the uh, bug tarp, oh, you got it. Um, the height that you get the rope to kind of determines the height of the ceiling of the shelter. So you want to get it up nice and high, but the trees here are actually like lower than where the floor of the tarp is going to be. So James is throwing the rope up over some branches instead of just tying it to the trunk of the tree just to get it up higher.
bug shelter set up. Ground is really shallow, so James used some rocks in the corners. He's just hanging out. Leave it. Good girl. It's a nice. really big toad. Mm -hmm. These rocks. Jamie was out fishing, and we're just chilling in the bed shelter, reading. Emma was sleeping. Now she's growling using Jamie's chair as a footrest. That's amazing. <laughs> That's dad. He's coming back from fishing. The bugs out there are intense. There's a lot of deer flies, mosquitoes, mostly deer flies. Catch anything? Good thing we have sausages. This is a great way to saw wood when you've reached the end. James did all those pieces, cut them all up with a saw, and now that last piece is pretty small.
one's a little too scored. We got four so that Emma can have two. <laughs> Just kidding. How's it? So good. It's always good over the fire. Better over the fire. Emma has drooled all over herself. Wait. You've, she's already had her dinner. Okay. Red light district. Is <laughs> Emma, you got your dino? What you got there? You got your dino? Packing up. We just had some coffee. We skipped breakfast. We're gonna move on to the next site. It's really not very far away. Um, and see if anyone's over there. If it's free, we'll just set up camp right away. Um, if someone's over there, we'll go do a little day trip, go do some fishing till about two. On the water by 7.30.
kind of stop fighting. I wonder if it's a stick. Might be a stick. Caught a it stick? like a fish first. But... Well, we'll find out. Oh no, it's a fish. It's a fish? Yeah. What are you going to do with them? Put them back? Yeah, I'm just going back. Stay. I must oh, stay. There he goes. <laughs> oh, I got off. <laughs> yeah, I use barbless hooks, so. Yeah. Without a net, it's hard to land them. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. He was a good one, though. So we're on our lake, and it's before 9 a.m. <laughs> there's probably still people at the campsite. We'll see. If no one was there last night, then they won't be there. a nice sight. So there's someone still at the other site. Um, so we'll probably just have breakfast here, hang out, maybe check out the other site once they leave and decide which one we're gonna stay at. This one's very nice.
There's a moose right there, right behind the loon, swimming in the water. I think it's got a baby with it. It's pretty far away. I think they're coming over here. They won't be able to come up these rocks. No? That was cool. What? We saw a moose and a baby, a mom and a baby. Yeah. Emma actually, she didn't see them, but she went and stood very alert out on that rock. Um, didn't know what she was smelling, but she must have smelled them. She sensed them yeah. way before we saw them. Yeah. Oh, what's your angle? Front? Well, this is really hard for me. Hold it because I'm further back. Do you want to hold it? Okay. Emma was in the hammock. Emma was in the hammock. She actually really wanted to get in. Yeah. She was wagging her tail and put her front paws up on the hammock. <laughs> I was surprised. She, like she tried to climb in. Yeah. So the primary suite has been set up and the Muskoka room has been set up. And Emma is sleeping. Is that a fireside chat? Yeah, there's no fire. Is that an Algonquin minute? What's that? Moment? Moment? Mark in the park, remember? An Algonquin moment? No, that's Algonquin uh that was a quiet, a quiet moment, no? No. A disconnect moment? Yeah, that's what it was called. Disconnect moment. Mm -hmm. So we can't talk then. <laughs> so now I'm spilling my wine. Sweet bear wine. <laughs> that was pretty high. I checked to make sure it was safe, but she's a daredevil. Oh, oh yeah, that's nice.
Jamie's out fishing. Emma's gonna have her dinner. Tried to lay in the hammock for a bit, but the deer flies are just swarming right now. It's really bad. They were biting Emma's face, biting my face, and everywhere. So we're hiding out in the bug tarp right now. Emma, leave it. Hey. Nope. Uh, she's trying to bite a deer fly through the mesh. It's actually not in the bug shelter, and she's trying to bite it. Nope, it's outside. It's not in here. Oh, we can take this off now that you're not outside. Jamie's fishing, so that's why she's harnessed up. This cool rock. This pink quartz underneath gray stone. Not that big. That's okay. I was wondering if I should try and catch another one. We should just make this one guy. Oh, nice. Is that enough? I mean, we can eat it with other food. So good. Okay. There he goes. Oh, okay. Under the stick. Emma's being so good with the fishing now. Good girl, leave it. Well, the quiet morning just got noisier. And the still lake is not still anymore.
wrap her dino in this. It's kind of yucky. Oh, you want to? You're leaving. Oh. <laughs> we gotta go. <laughs> no, you can't have it. It's dirty. You need the bath. Some nice firewood in there. Some dry kindling. Huh. Nice. Oh, there it is. Stay. Good girl, stay. All like perfect eating size, you know? Stay, Emma. Yeah. There he goes. Oh, I got off. I guess that's easier. It is. I don't like handling them. Their their skin is very fragile. So anytime you need to pick them up, it kind of hurts them. So if, unless you're planning on keeping them, it's better just to, you know, keep them in the water, basically. That's why a good net, but you can keep them in the water while you remove the hook mm. is a good idea. And I always pinch the barbs on my hooks so that they can shake them like that. Or even if you do get them on the boat, it's really easy to get the hook out. Mm. Good girl. Water's nice. They just feel like sticks. Like big logs? Yeah, they don't fight until they get close to the boat. They just kind of drag. She's watching, she's ready. Ready for the action. Ready for the excitement. Sitting on a pack really high up in the canoe. <laughs> Awesome. Now let's get this one back in the boat. 
just got Emma in off that rock over there. I'm soaking wet. Party Lake. And then here. 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 Right, here we go. Oh, here. shaky on that one. You did it. Want to pass me that? Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's, yeah, it's on my That's like the hardest part. Hanging out in the shade, having some snacks, floating by these huge boulders. Here's the beaver dam. Okay, you have to stop, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's too high. Mm -hmm. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs>
not a good spot. Hold on. There we go. Better. Come on, hop in. Hop in. Please. Right here. No. Nope. Okay. Hop in. Right there. We made it. We made it to the end. Almost. That's it. This trip was really last minute. We just decided on earlier this week. And we normally don't take such short trips, three days. We like four or five days. But I'm really glad that we took it. I'm glad? Are these short ones? Yeah. I mean, it's better than nothing. So. Only have to take one day vacation. Yeah, one day off. Emma would stay longer. She's got the whole week off, so she could. 